Not going to be wasting any time as we have limited time with the modern day greatest of all time, the tribal chief himself, Roman Reigns. How is that going? Could be better. Why is that? There is a, there's a lot of things that is not going as expected right now. All right, well, fair enough, I guess. Uh, Roman, everybody and their dog has been wondering, because to my knowledge, you haven't mentioned anything about him yet. What are your thoughts on Jimmy calling himself the new tribal chief? Right. It's delusion. Jimmy, without any guidance, is a lost dog. Why do you think he has never been fully on his home? It's because of shit like this. Jimmy will always have a special place on the island of irrelevancy. Strictly because he's in my family. Look, Jimmy might have had the guts to be the one to super kick me in the face. But what happened? He came crawling back to his tribal chief. Because that dog knows where he gets fed from. Jay decided to build something for himself and he didn't want my guidance. Fine. But he built a great foundation. He won the tag team titles and he almost won the Intercontinental Championship all by himself and I'm proud for that. But even Jay knows I brought him to the promised land. And in that time, I decided to focus my attention on Jimmy, trying to build him up to eventually becoming a future tribal chief. And even with my guidance, does Jimmy focus on winning anything? Hell no. He's too focused on making sure Jay loses to focus on hurting our bloodline. Now without me, without the wise man, without an enforcer, Look what Jimmy does. The man can't get himself over so he resorts to becoming a knockoff, wish version, or as Rock would say, a jabroni candy <laughs> Making a fool of himself, hurting the bloodline. Look, I hope Jimmy sees this and I can get through to him. Because if not, Jimmy, I will put you down like a dog. And that's not a warning. It's a promise. Wow. Um, well, I'd like to say to kind of watch the friends, but hey, you're a modern day go. Who am I to say? But either way, with that out of the way, Roman, let's shift our attention to the last few weeks. Starting at WrestleMania, that loss to Cody, and then the next night on the debut of the new era, he lost to John Cena, ending his losing streak. And then. You had the opportunity to win it all back, and you lost to Gunther in the very first round of the gauntlet. How has these strings of losses impacted you mentally? Uh, it does hurt me. Not as much as you think. Strictly because I've been the face of this company for a very long time. It hurts in the sense of people thinking I'm washed. Or whatever the term is. But, guys... I'm not fully a WWE guy anymore. I've had my hand on a lot of different projects. I can't win every match anymore because I can't focus on every match anymore. I know I'm better than every single one of those men I lost to strictly because I held the top prize in our industry for the longest amount of time in the modern era. Let me ask you, what was Cena's longest reign? Uh, 380 days? What about Gunther? Oh, I th he held the UK championship for about 870-ish days? Now that is impressive, but nowhere near my 1,316 days. <laughs> and lastly, what about Cody? Uh, well, um, what, less than a night, sir. So you're telling me the future face of the company will defeat me, the GOAT. Defeats me at WrestleMania after bringing everyone he can to help him. Defeats me to just let everyone down by relinquishing it. Well, I mean, Cody did get attacked. Okay, and 
He wanted to be a one-man show. Ain't nobody attacked me because they all knew that they'll be walking out injured. Because nobody messes with the only tribal chief. Well, I know you are very basic, guy, so I won't have you here for much longer. But we do have some fan-submitted questions. Then we could wrap this whole thing up. So, at Richard Wright Noir, 0522, hope I said that correctly, asked if you are ready to be the workhorse of the company. No. Because those days are behind me. I still have my contract that allows me to be a part-timer. Or whatever. Because nobody is ready for a full-time Roman Reigns. Especially when I'm in God mode. Okay, well, he has a few more. Who do you want to face the most? Who would be your perfect match with? And how much longer do you think you can keep smashing and stacking? My dream match has to be with Dwayne. That would be the biggest match of all time. And then you all could have had it, but you wanted Fragile Cody. So me versus Rock as the biggest WrestleMania match of all time. That's my dream match right there. Now, how much longer do I have? Well, it's just as long as Triple H and Nick Khan want to match whatever offer Hollywood puts up. Okay. Yeah, obviously. You versus Rock. Well, thank you, Roman, for being on the spotlight. Thank you, Richard, for the questions. And if you want to submit questions down below for our next guest, the World Heavyweight Champion, John Cena, for next time, put them in, down in the comments below. Make sure you go down below. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And that's a wrap.